Welcome everyone. Today we're tackling a vital topic for property owners in the UK, capital gains tax. Whether you're managing a portfolio or recently sold your first property, understanding this tax can impact your financial decisions. Understanding capital gains tax. Imagine selling a residential property you bought for £100,000 for a selling price of £150,000, a successful transaction. However, the government might claim a share of the additional income known as a tax. In this instance, it's called capital gains tax. Think of it as contributing a portion of the profit you made when selling an asset, in this case, your property. It's a way for the government to generate revenue from transactions involving increased value. Who pays capital gains tax? Not everyone selling property needs to pay capital gains tax. Whether you owe this tax depends on two key factors. The amount of extra money you made and the type of property you sold. The amount of extra money you made. You can earn a certain amount annually without incurring capital gains tax. This threshold is currently set at £3,000 for tax year 2024 to 25. If the profit from selling your property falls below this amount, you generally don't owe any tax. The type of property you sold. The rules for houses can differ from other assets. You might pay a higher tax rate on the profit from selling a residential property compared to other things such as stocks or shares. Navigating residency and tax rates. Your residency status plays a crucial role in determining your capital gains tax liability. Let's explore the specific rules for both UK residents and non-residents. One. UK Residents, Main Residence Exemption, also known as Private Residence Relief. If you sold your main home, the house you live in, you're generally exempt from paying capital gains tax. This encourages home ownership and allows individuals to move house without facing extra tax burdens on their primary residence. Tax rates for other properties. If you sold an investment property or any other residential property other than your main residence, the following tax rates apply. Profit below £3,000, no capital gains tax is due. Profit above £3,000, if your income falls under the basic rate, you are taxed at 18% on the portion of the profit exceeding the £3,000 allowance. Any remaining profit exceeding the combined value of the allowance and taxed at the basic rate is subject to the higher rate of 24%. 2. Non-UK residents, taxable property. Non-resident individuals are generally only liable for capital gains tax on UK property holdings, including land and buildings. They are exempt from paying capital gains tax on assets situated outside the UK. The tax rates for capital gains tax for non-UK residents are same as for a UK resident. Seeking expert guidance, capital gains tax can become intricate, especially when residency and different property types are involved. This complexity can lead to confusion and potential tax mistakes. It's crucial to understand your specific situation and potential tax liabilities. This video provides a basic overview of capital gains tax for property owners in the UK. However, tax regulations can be subject to change and may involve additional complexities depending on your specific circumstances. We encourage you to stay informed. Regularly check the HMRC website for updated information on capital gains tax and related matters. Seek guidance if needed. Don't hesitate to consult with qualified tax professionals if you have any questions or require further assistance. We hope this video has been helpful and informative. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more taxation and finance videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. For those interested in efficient tax planning, we invite you to view our video, Save Taxes Legally, with these amazing tips.